Hello guys, in this video I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of 1D kinematics, see how this can be done with uh, Mathematica. Okay, let's start. First, I'm going to define our mass point. Alright, so let's keep it as a function of x. This is how Mathematica defines the point. So this is crucial. I defined as a function of x because I, I want to see it moving. All right. Normally you put here a number, but now I want to see it moving. Let's say I want to give also some color. Uh, I want to control its point size. This is how it can be done with Mathematica. Let's say I want to paint it blue. I want to have a point size like this. All right. Of course, to give it its coordinate. All right. So, for example, I'm starting uniform acceleration. Uh, all right. So here is the equation motion. I t square, all right. I can print it if I want. Let's give it uh, units, meters, all right. Of course, I can compute uh, velocity. Velocity, of course, defined as the first derivative of x. Right, I can print also if I want. Units, meters per second, right? And of course, acceleration. Equation of motion. And the acceleration. And also, as a fraction of time, it's the first derivative, the velocity. Right, and we can print it also. Meters per square foot. All right, here it is. Now, I can see this point moving. It's a very nice function of Mathematica, it's called manipulate. All right, now in order to see it, I will use the graphics. Function. So it is my point. Now this is crucial. It's x as a function of t because I'm going to vary t and I can see it moving, moving with time. All right. This is crucial then. All right. Now I have to define my axis. I want to see only x-axis and no y-axis. So I put false there. All right. Uh, let's see, I want a plot range for 100, 100 for x axis, y axis, not important, let's keep it in order to be consistent. Right, I want to see my peaks. X axis. Five. Uh, now for let's go to square back here. For y-axis, not important. Let's do the consistency. All right. T 
into ah see this old old all right now I'm going to bury this Let's see. Ah, okay. This is it. Mm, all right. Now here is a trick. If I want to see also the values of x, velocity and acceleration, in the same diagram, here's what I do. This is a very nice property to manipulate. I will use dynamic evaluation. All right. So I want to see x. X equals. All right. I want to see also velocity. All right. Acceleration. All right. And now these are going to be placed to the left. All right. Ah, here it is. any point in time I can see x, b, and a. Okay, now for example I want to see constant velocity. What I do is I want to I want to change the equation of motion. And here it is moving with constant velocity. Alright now let's say for example I want to see a simple harmonic oscillator right all I'm going to do I'm going to change the equation of motion let's put amplitude 10 example okay but now I want to see what's moving to the left of the t of the beginning of the axis so what range I'm going to change it zero so, so point minus thirty to thirty Here it is, I can use. At any point in time, I can see how it moves. All right, with the motion. Of course, I can float also. X with time. Here, here they are. All right, you can experiment yourself. You can change the equation of motion. You can do anything you want. All right, in the next video, I will show you how you can see also the um, uh, velocity vector, acceleration vector, the position vector, how they change with uh, time also. Okay, nice to talk to you guys. See you soon.